following interview is conducted with Robin Lax and Becca Lax for the Purdue University Oral History Project. It took place on August 4th, 2017 at the Indiana State Fair. The interviewer is Adriana Harmeyer. So could you tell me what years you were at Purdue and what your areas of study were? I was there 1987 to 1989 and I majored in humanities. Um, I majored in psychology. Um, I'm currently at Purdue. I'll be a sophomore in the fall and I'm studying professional flight. I'm a pilot. Fantastic. And what brings you to the fair today? Well, I'm the Indiana State Fair Queen and so I'll be here. I'm the official hostess of the fair and so I'll be here all 17 days. Fantastic. What role does Purdue play in your connection to the fair? If any. Well, I don't know. I mean, Purdue Extension, I was a 10-year 4-H member, and so I was very involved with, um, I got to go to Purdue multiple times just for Purdue Extension, is very involved in 4-H as well. And so um, kind of I had opportunities to go throughout the state, throughout the country, all because of, you know, Purdue's um, sponsorship and partnership with Purdue, or with 4-H. I'm a 4-H leader. I'm on our 4-H council. I am an extension homemaker. And I'm a state fair queen mom. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd imagine as a Purdue alum and going back with your daughter to campus, you've had a chance to see Purdue change over the years. Mm -hmm. Does anything stand out to you? What has changed the most about Purdue since your time as a student? The roads. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to drive on the roads that are one way now. <laughs> Uh, the new buildings. There's all kinds of new buildings um, since I was there in the late 80s and in um, um, the programs. The dorms, a lot, a lot more dorms. Mm -hmm. The dorm I lived in doesn't even exist anymore. And, you know, so that'd be a big change for me. What dorm was that? Terry Courts. <laughs> is there anything that you think is exactly the same from your time at Purdue to today? Um, the students. Um, the enthusiasm, you know, the love of Purdue is exactly the same. It hasn't changed. It doesn't matter how old you are, you know, anything like that. I think that stayed exactly the same. Mm -hmm. But the campus itself, um, the mall, and uh, the union and Stewart, you know, all of those, that, that feels so awesome to walk through and, you know, that stayed the same. That's great. As a current student, what are the places on campus that stand out to you? What are your favorite places? Um, I'm at the Union a lot. Um, I like to study down there and upstairs. It's just kind of two different worlds kind of thing. One's loud and, you know, crazy and then you just can just go and take a nap or study in silence upstairs. Um, I don't know. I'm at the airport a lot and so, <laughs> um, that's where I usually study or something like that. Um, uh, um, where else do I go? I haven't been there in three months. <laughs> where else do I go at Purdue? I don't even Airport, your dorm. I know, yeah. It's kind of there and back. The buses are great. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what dorm do you live in? Um, I was in Harrison last year and I'll be in Hill and Brand this year. When you knew your daughter was going to Purdue, did any advice spring to mind about being a Purdue student? Um, she was going to need lots of umbrellas because they turn upside down. Um, it rains sideways there. Um, get a study buddy right away and meet somebody in every class and that you, you know, can sh exchange numbers and everything and that'll help right away. Mm -hmm. You know, with have, whether you miss a class or, you know, need a study buddy or something like that, that's really important. Those were kind of probably the top three. Mm -hmm. Would you have the same advice for incoming students? Yes. Definitely. I've tried to take all of those and go with them, and they've helped me immensely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. When you think about your time at Purdue, both of you, we have the big traditions and things that we publicize about the university. Are there any parts of Purdue you think should get more attention or just aren't talked about enough? I don't know. That's really hard because our family bleeds black and gold. Yeah, so. We're promoting all the time. Yeah, Our, my <laughs> oldest daughter also attended Purdue, mm -hmm. and so, and other family members. So, I don't know. We kind of promote it, and, and we're down south in Evansville. They only talk about IU. It's really hard 
you know, to find anything Purdue or anything like that. So we kind of preach it, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know a lot of things I'm involved in just at the airport alone is very publicized. So, I mean, not, I don't know. I can't think of anything that really needs. I mean, the open bucket else. and everything else is, know, you know. We, I know, I love it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So when you think Purdue, just the word Purdue, what is your first thought? Go ahead. Um, when I think Purdue, I think of this massive campus, but it's also very small. Um, you can easily get lost kind of thing, but you also see the same faces and the same things, and it feels like home when you're there. Um, so yeah, I, I love Purdue, so yeah, I think of home more than Yeah, now that it's been many, many years since I've been there, when I think of Purdue, I think of fun and wearing all our Purdue clothes and going to all the games and mm-hmm. alumni stuff. And I guess at home, I could never wear Purdue and be, you know, because nobody else really wore Purdue at home. And so when I'm there, I'm like, I can wear my black and gold all the time and everyone else does. Yeah. <laughs> Just kind of fit in there, yeah. At home is yeah. what I think of, yeah. Right, right. Yes, we love it. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. So the last question I have for you, when you think about your time on campus, whether that was a few years ago or now, what is your favorite memory? Do you have a favorite memory? Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. I think I have two. Okay. Um, I, one of the crazy things I did while I was at Purdue, I was a DJ, which was not me at all. And I ended up getting to be on one of the station, the station at the campus at the time. That was so fun. And then the second I was involved in um, the, the dances, the ballroom dances, I can't remember what it's called now. But um, being involved in that organization and the dances and mm-hmm. being at the union and setting all that up, those, those were fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I keep going back to fun. Um, so I was part of Aviation Ambassadors this, this past year. And at the end of our year, our president um, got this partnership with Envoy Airlines. And they flew us from Purdue to Dallas, and that was super rare and super amazing because you know airlines don't come into Purdue's airport, and so that was amazing to get to go from there to Dallas for the day and then come back, and it was just it was amazing. So the opportunities here Purdue have been amazing. Mm-hmm. It's great. Do you have any last comments you'd like to share? <laughs> it's an awesome school. My my degree through Purdue, I am not doing what I originally went to school for. I'm a teacher. And originally I wanted to go into psychology and use that, but I ended up being a special ed teacher and I'm utilizing all of that. And my education and being able to say I graduated from Purdue has been instrumental in the things that I've done. So it was money well spent, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you both for taking time to talk to me today. You're welcome.